Uh, hi, this is Corey with SignalHound. I'm going to take a minute here and show you how to monitor the entire FM band with our Spike software uh, connected to a BB60C. All right, so we're looking at the Spike interface here uh, running on Windows 10. Um, and this is the default launch state when you come into this. It's already in sweep mode doing its thing with the BB60C. We can see the the span here up to six gigahertz. Uh, so we're gonna wanna, since we're looking for the FM band, we're gonna wanna center on a center frequency of 98.1 is where I'm gonna go. Uh, so center frequency, type of 98.1, then we're gonna move down. We're gonna do a span of 20 megahertz uh, to cover the band. And then I think we'll just do a couple settings here. We'll set the uh, reference level down to uh, minus 49. Oh, I'm gonna turn on persistence too by selecting this checkbox up here in the top. Actually, I'm not gonna turn on persistence, but I am going to enable the spectrogram because that's what I wanna do and we're gonna drag it down just a bit. Okay, so we're starting to look here. We can see from 88.1 to uh, 108. That's uh, pretty much if you've got a radio in your car at the FM band, then it's going to look similar to this. Uh, let's drop this down. We're going to use a uh, the RBW 2465820. I'm going to copy the same value down onto that one. Um, let's see, is there any other settings I have to do? Do our divisions at eight. And I might even drop that reference level down just a bit. So what you can see is we're looking at the, the FM band here and our persistence or our spectrogram display up here showing us the uh, frequencies. If you were to scan through your radio station in your car here in the Portland, Oregon area, you would probably... Uh, you find music or sound or talking at any of these marks along here. And um, yeah, so that's how you do it.